Helping Hands Award, that person that had the introduction of our salutatorian and followed by our salutatorian's address. So you, will you welcome to the stage Miss Cheryl Martinez. Ms. Martinez. But then again, I felt very old because um, it's hard to realize that my five-year-old JD is now you know, 17, 18 years old going and graduating from um, high school. Um, I felt um, I had the pleasure of meeting JD for the first time when um, he walked into the kindergarten orientation at Highland City Elementary. He was a polite quiet um, little boy, and he seemed quite ready to come to kindergarten when he discovered my dinosaur books and my um, <laughs> dinosaur puzzles in the library center. However, on the first day of school, when he returned, and he realized that his mother was not going to be attending with him, he instantly had an escape plan. Uh, and I instantly... Uh, was ran to the um, chain link fence and was coaxing this five-year-old determined little boy off the top of the fence. <laughs> and I do not remember at the time what the conversation was or how I got him off the fence, but he reluctantly let go. It was like his fingers were around the fence and it was like one by one they were coming down and we got down off the fence and he held my hand and went back into the classroom. That's how our kindergarten year started. And it was an exciting year for us. We, um, uh, it was such a pleasure to have him in my class because that particular year was a difficult class for me. And um, so when I would walk in in the morning and I would see his um, cute little smile and see his, little, his personality and of course, his perfectly coughed hair every day, then my heart just uh, just smiled because he was, I would look at his little face and uh, in the midst of chaos, you know, I could look at him and there he was smiling and ready to learn, so. Um, I don't, um, I, I had another little, um, memory when I was trying to um, think of the, some of the things that happened with him in kindergarten. And one was that another another little scene that I remembered was the time I introduced finger painting. And um, J.D.'s literal thought process was so obvious to me when I watched him paint an entire picture with one finger, finger painting. Because it, was, it wasn't fingers painting, it was finger painting. And so he took his finger, painted, and it was a perfectly clean finger because he would paint, wipe, paint, wipe. So then when he got through, it was perfectly done, and his hands were clean. So he was, and he was very happy because you know, he, he had finished the project and he felt very good about himself. Um, JD, it was my great privilege to be your kindergarten teacher and to see you have uh, grow into such a godly, talented uh, young man. Um, I've been amazed, but not, surpri not surprised, by your accomplishments as a student and a performer. Um, you seem to have found your niche and you excelled in it. So JD, whatever plan God has for your life, and whatever platform you choose to convey God's message to the world, I leave with you this white quote from John Wesley. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, to all the people you can, for as long as you ever can. God bless you, JD, always.
Ay. <laughs> I'd like to uh, thank everybody for uh, coming here tonight and uh, for supporting our seniors who are also here tonight. Always push through. 
Yes, turning back is an option, but it's not a worthwhile trip if you just go and turn around. Life is the journey. My story represents life's journey. As I mentioned earlier, I had with me a bike and a sword. The bike represents your self-being, or your consciousness, so to speak. You will always have this with you throughout your life. You're always knowing what's around you, what's going on. Never. Never lose it. You always want to stay on top of it, stay focused. Because once you hop off, everything around you seems to affect you. The, the mud on the trail will cake on your bike, but if you stay focused, eh, it will dry and fall away. Satan's tools and life's hardships will cling and cut to you, but if just stay focused, nothing will stop you. Stay on top and stay focused. Life is the journey. In life, there are many tools at disposal. None of these tools, however, are as great as the sword. Back in the medieval days, the sword was the best tool for defense and offense. But this, isn't, but this is not the sword I'm talking about. The sword in my story represents Jesus Christ. As young men and women, we need stable ground to walk upon. You leaders of the school and church have prepared us now, but we need to choose where we stand. Will you stand on the soft toil of the earth, or will you be standing on an ever-solid rock? If you keep Jesus with you, he will see you through. If, n if not, prepare to feel hot. Bad, sad, glad times will come, but with Jesus at your side, the battles have already been won. Even if you stray, he will welcome you back into loving arms, and he will keep you from life's harms. Life is the journey. Always pursue what inspires you. Never give up, never give in, and never forget that we're delivered from sin. When in doubt, see forth a new beginning or path. <coughs> Our roads will meet at last. And as for one more tip of the day, a smile is as contagious as a bad joke. Knowing this, you are, as I spoke, cool in every way. Life is the journey. Let's begin a new day.